self-test, uh, useful diagnostics, uh, you start it to push both button a fast click. You come into main menu one, and this is the one we want to go into. So you push the button, you go in, you have four different options here, mm. and the LED start to blink, so you can see that this is working. And we want to go into the first self-test mode 1.1, then we push the button. This is the analog actuators and joystick levers. And now you can check that your setup with joystick levers is actually working and give a good value on from the transmitter. So you can see that the volume is going for plus to minus. Similar for joysticks, but you push it in different directions. Now we want to go into next self-test mode 1.2, and this is the digital actuators. Normally push buttons, um, in this case we have push buttons. We have normal push button and safety classifies push buttons. You can see it uh, because it's different value that check, uh, is changing. This is a normal push button. Uh, the first digital value changed when you push it, 11 to 10. And this module have a safety class red button. Then you change the lower row on the display, so you can see it actually works. And it's a digital, it's go to one to zero or 10 to 11. Now we go into rotary encoders. Uh, you have a value and you turn the rotary, you can turn it, this rotary can turn it many turns. Uh, and the volume is going up and going down. And now we go in to the last self test uh, mode, pitch and roll. 1.4 pitch and roll. And in this uh, self diagnostics mode, you can see the value change when you tilt and roll. The transmitter. When you are ready in self-diagnostics mode, you just turn off the transmitter. And restarting the transmitter, and you go back to radio link and ready.